Hello, and at the risk of losing your attention, I've been advised to get straight to the point. This year I was sent to VidCon to investigate the world of popular online video. I took down a scroll of notes and wrote my findings into a brief essay, only to be reminded that I'd spent two days being cajoled into the notion that anyone under 40 can't read and prefers nothing but online video. Here's a video. As made apparent by what YouTube calls my channel, despite an embarrassing lack of cohesion and content, I don't like YouTube. It's hard and it's scary. I did not fit in at VidCon. Upon registration, I did encounter an eight-year-old boy barely grasping a half-pointed at the ground handy cam, slurring out a hey guys, I'm here at etc. type of monologue. This proved to be common, as many attendees are recording themselves for the entire conference, the more enterprising of which have half-slave chums who do the recording for them. Anyone apt to watch this video is confused by this behavior and may be confused by the conference itself. VidCon is advertised strangely, and it's hard to grasp what to expect. Fortunately, the conference's logo is a perfect encapsulation of this event's twisted hierarchical structure. Quite literally at the bottom is the community, comprised of those who love online celebrities so much that they're willing to pay upwards of $150 to see one. One tier higher is the creator track, comprised of those who want to become said celebrities, and above that is the industry track, comprised of those who want to get rich off of said celebrities. If you must in fact attend this conference, I recommend that you buy an industry pass because it's on the third floor where there's a bar, a cold dark ballroom, free food, and a distinct absence of preteens. As a brief aside, I should mention that I am not often placed in the presence of children and was completely unprepared for the incredible test of auditory fortitude I was to endure by these shrill and glassy-eyed monsters. If you'd like to save a grand and a trip, here's what I learned at the industry seminars. Nobody knows what's going on. Online video is a treacherous new landscape even after this conference's seventh annual iteration, and established behemoths fall to the wayside without a moment's notice. It's terrifying and unpredictable, as made apparent by this slide, entitled Netflix is Bay, in which B-A-E is punctuated as if to signify some acronym. The slide after this one was titled Millennials Heart Online Video, and the presenter confusedly announced it as Millennials Less Than Three Online Video. Even without this hilarious slip-up, I do believe that this information was impossible to teach anything to anyone who paid to visit a video conference built on a foundational bedrock of obviously enthralled millennials whose screams can be heard from the third floor past closed doors. More evidence of oblivion can be found in many presenters' references to YouTube as a place for cat videos, a painfully outdated paradigm compared to more timely references to things like memes and jump cuts, which were nary to be heard. I'm told that I've probably lost every viewer's attention by now, so that's the end of the video. Bye! Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, haha, <laughs> just kidding, the video is actually over.